Can you guys see into the future? I think you can because this is Future Kai introing today's video. I am introing this video after this video is already done. So in today's video, obviously you're gonna see me mood read my physical TBR. I have got some bookish mail in this video as well. I got a couple of books. I got a couple of bookish gadgets as well. So uh, buckle in. <laughs> Let's go. I was really hoping to sit down and start reading today when there was still natural daylight da daylight outside but of course there isn't because it's currently 5 30 on a monday afternoon slash evening whatever you want to call it and we're in the middle of winter i'm finally ready to sit down and start reading for today i've got a really exciting book it came in the mail today i wasn't expecting it at all it took me by surprise and it's from simon stuster 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 simon and put it on the screen and it comes out in july it came with this really cool slip jacket which says are you a survivor you turn it around Oh, you're a trader, right? And you take it off. Bam. This is One Perfect Couple by Ruth Ware. And as far as I'm concerned, right? As far as I'm concerned, this is literally Love Island on crack. It's Love Island, but make it a thriller. Basically, 10 couples go to an island. People start dying. <laughs> they think they think they're going on this new reality TV show. That's kind of like Love Island. Little do they know, there's, there's gonna be a really big twist. <laughs> gonna go wrong <laughs> and i am in my thriller era at the moment i have binge read three or freedom mcfadden's books back to back to back and i haven't read any romance books and we're in february valentine's day who and now i'm gonna read another thriller came with a lanyard it's pretty it's pretty cool came with a little cocktail rainbow to really to really uh get me in the mood whilst i'm reading it <laughs> i'm gonna start reading the book now and i am gonna annotate it <laughs> I have literally just woken up. Well, I haven't literally just woken up. I've woken up about half an hour ago. It's like 11 a.m., right? But I'm gonna act like it's still 8 a.m. or like 9 a.m. because I did actually wake up at 8 a.m. But because it's depression season, I was just like, well, let's be cheeky and go back to sleep for a little while longer. A little reading update, guys. As you know, I am reading One Perfect Couple. I read up to chapter four, page 42 yesterday. I have decided that I am actually gonna soft DNF this book for now. Premise of this book sounds so, so fun and so interesting. But with my anxiety right now, I cannot take the suspense and the unknowing of where a thriller book is going to go the third freedom mcfadden book that i read i started to get a little bit uncomfortable Do you know that line in friends where ross is just like uh sweetie huh, i'm starting to get a little bit uncomfortable <laughs> this conversation's starting to make me a little uncomfortable <laughs> That's me with thriller books right now. My anxiety just can't take the suspense and not knowing. So I need something a little bit more stable, something a little bit more predictable. So of course we're gonna pick up a romance book. And I am going to start reading Stealing Home by Grace Riley. I am already 10% through this. I've read the previous two books in the series. The fourth book of the series is coming out very, very soon. I'm really excited for that. But obviously I need to make sure I'm all caught up with the series to be able to read the fourth one. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna be reading today. I'll keep you guys updated. <laughs> little reading update i am on chapter 40 of stealing home and i am on page 243 i started today on page 37 i read just over 200 pages and oh my god i love the way grace riley writes her books the spice is just something else like they haven't even gone the whole way but this book it's got me blushing ah! this book is about mia and sebastian sebastian is the third callaway brother he is actually adopted into the family mia is actually penny's best friend and penny is one of the main characters in the second book of this series and basically they start dating but Mia is a bit of a commitment phobe she feels like she's not good enough for Sebastian she wants to pursue her dreams of science being a scientist he plays baseball she wants to be a scientist the two aren't gonna work together that's what she's convinced herself but she has finally like given in and kind of like started dating him not really a spoiler because i mean if you read the book you know that the couples are gonna end up together anyway it's really really good so far i'm really enjoying it grace riley's writing is so easy and fun to read i'm 200 pages in today which i'm actually really shocked about because i am in a bit of a slump i have been in a bit of a slump since september last year so i'm actually kind of shocked that i've read like 200 plus pages but we shall see how much more i read today that's my check-in for today I'll catch them with you guys later or tomorrow. <laughs> guys 
is currently 4.25 and I have just finished Stealing Home by Grace Riley. I loved it. It was so, so sweet. I think I'm going to give it a four stars, but I'm going to do like the ratings and the reviews at the end of the video. This was the first book that I've read where there's been like women in STEM. I literally never read that trope before. And if anything, this book has made me more inclined to pick up an Ali Hazelwood book. Women in STEM trope wasn't as bad as what I thought it was going to be. It was actually turned out really, really sweet in this book because Mia majors in astro astrology. <sighs> Mia majors in astrology. So she was comparing her relationship and her love to Sebastian as stars and moons and universes and planets and gizmos or whatever you call it. It was really sweet. I can't tell you a quote off the top of my head because I genuinely don't remember. But it was really, really sweet and the character development was really heartwarming. So that's one book down. How many pages did I read today? Okay, I read 148 pages of this and now of course I've got to figure out my next read and I've got a couple books lined up in front of me which I'm about to show you guys. I don't know what I'm gonna read. I think for now I'm probably just gonna take a break, chill, and then this evening probably pick my next read. I'll show you guys the books that I'm contemplating between starting. I have not read a physical book at all this year. I love reading physical books but I find the problem is when I read a physical book I'm always too absorbed with like how much of a chunk I've made, what page I'm on, how many pages I've got left, how many pages until the next chapter. Whereas with the Kindle, you can literally just read and read and read and not realise how many pages you've read. And more time when I'm reading on my Kindle, I find that I've read like 50 to 100 to 150 pages without even checking what page I'm on. But I definitely want to pick up some physical books because I think I've got like 150 plus books on my physical TBR. If you guys want a physical TBR tour, let me know. I have tried filming that video before, but let's say I filmed it, accidentally deleted all the clips. Anyway, so I've got five books in front of me that I'm kind of planning on picking up and reading, but I don't know. Um, we've got Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I am already 95 pages into this and I've soft DNF'd it twice. I don't know, for me personally, I feel like Anastasia's and Nate's relationship developed very, very quickly. It was already smart, like 50 pages in the book. And I'm like, hold up, where's the development to this smart? And we have Twisted Lies by Annie Wong. This is the last book in the Twisted series I need to read, obviously. I really want to read the Kings of Sin series. I feel like I need to read Twisted Lies first because there's a character in Twisted Lies that appears in King of Sin series, I, I, I believe. And I'm pretty sure the female main character character is mixed race or black right i don't know i didn't actually know that until i saw some fan art i was just like huh i feel like it's nice to read about a girl that kind of looks similar to you probably looks nothing like me i mean right now i'm bed raggled looking a mess my dressing gown has dinner stains on it from about three weeks ago but i'm just keeping it real but sisters then we've got terms and conditions by lauren asher apparently this is like a favorite out of the dreamland billionaire series I've heard really good things about this book and then we've got love me do by lindsay kelk i've had this book for a while but i just haven't got to picking it up yet the premise of this book sounds really really fun and i mean the cover is literally gorgeous as well but i just googled it and there's no spice in it how am I supposed to be inclined to read a book when there's no spice in it? But it's supposed to be a rom-com. And I mean, it's a short read. And then the last book, which I'm debating picking up, is Lotus by Jennifer Hartsman. Watch me come on later and I've literally chosen something completely different. But we shall see. These are the books that I'm going to hopefully choose from. And I'll check in with you guys later or tomorrow. Okay, so it's currently 9.30. And I did indeed decide to pick up Twisted Lies. Do you know what? I'm a single girly. I'm not gonna lie, reading romance, especially the last couple months, has been very difficult for me. Because it just reminds me how alone I am. <laughs> I'm starting Twisted Lies as you do, you know. And it's got a playlist. We stan a book with a playlist in it, right? But what do you mean? It's literally got I Know You by Skylar Gray, Earned It by The Weeknd, Die For You by The Weeknd. Even though we're going through it and it makes you feel <laughs> Just know that I'm a time for you. Don't worry, I've got Ben. I've got my emotional support ice cream. I'm ready. I'm prepared. Not prepared enough, apparently. <laughs> the ice cream's not creamy. <laughs> but it's okay, I guess. Because who really needs love when you've got ice cream and romance books? We yeah, are probably start reading. I'm gonna. I'm ready to go. <laughs> sudden but severe case of pms my mood was once up here now it's all the way down here and it's really affecting my motivation to actually pick up a book and read i literally only read chapter one of twisted lies yesterday i was literally eating ice cream whilst i was reading it right and the ice cream started melting my hands were starting to get sticky the book was starting to get sticky the side that the book was on was starting to get sticky my pens were getting sticky i was just like you know what i've had enough for one day i i'm putting the ice cream away i'm putting the book away and i'm going to bed i picked up this book earlier on today and not gonna lie i was actually finding it quite hard to get into to begin with i was like oh my god we have another dnf on our hands luckily it wasn't it picked up i went into this book completely Completely blind right i didn't know the plot i just knew who the characters were christian and stella right but then i realized there's fake dating in this book 
And if there's one thing about me, I love the fake dating trope. I'm really, really enjoying this book so far. Christian is literally giving everything he needs to give. He's giving broody, he's giving overprotective, he's giving touch her and you will die. I have read 109 pages of this today. I don't know if I'm gonna read anymore. I might, I don't know. Also have got some really cute annotations in this book. He calls her butterfly. Let me just read this. What I want, dot, dot, dot. And then for you to be safe, there are bad people in this world, butterfly. And some of them are in the room right outside. So next time, I don't care if I'm in the middle of a conversation with the queen of fucking England. May she rest in me. May she rest in peace, jeez. Interrupt me, understand? And so Stella's like, butterfly. Then his inner monologue is like beautiful, evasive, hard to catch. So cute. Anyway, really enjoying. Let's see how much I read today and tomorrow. Anyway, on a different note, I have some bookish stuff here that I want to show you guys because I mean, it's a bookish video. So why wouldn't I show you guys some books that I got and some bookish stuff that I got, right? I've got three new books and two new reading lights. So the first book that I got is City Square by Megan Brandy. This is three pound on Amazon. If you're in the UK, The Works and Amazon currently have this for three pound. I'm probably so late on the train. You guys probably already know this by now. And American and other people that don't live in the uk i'm really sorry three pound is an absolute steal you wish you wish you lived in england then i got things i want to say by one of oh my god oh. why are my words just stopping mid-sentence then i got then i got things <laughs> I got things I wanted to say by Monica Murphy. This was actually book thrown to me by um, a lovely lady in a bookish group because you know, like Wishless Wednesdays. And then I got myself a Million Kisses in Your Lifetime by Monica Murphy. Not gonna lie, I was literally never interested in the Lancaster Prep series up until recently. I think it was the covers that really just sold me and i was just like you know what i've all of a sudden i've all of a sudden, of all of a sudden taken a little interest in you but i will eventually be collecting the series i mean the covers are just so cute look look at this shit. i literally flicked open the page on things i wanted to say but never did right and it was like page 200 and whoa it was getting hot in there i had to put that book shut and then i was very kindly gifted two reading lights by glow cusant glow cusant i don't know it's a brand on amazon and they sell like reading stuff and they sent me two reading lights right i am so beyond okay i don't want to flash you guys my potentially hard nips oh my god it's not turning on hello what's going on <laughs> it's flexible and everything as well the buttons and there's like three different light modes it's adjustable as well on both sides it changes that's so sick and then they also very kindly gifted me this little bookmark one and it's so cute right and once again you turn it on and it literally has three different colors and it swivels i like the fact that it swivels because sometimes i find when you use light bookmarks it only lights up a certain amount of the page and then you're like trying to like bend the page to try and get some light to read it but i thought i'd just give you guys a little little bookish haul a little bookish haul i really need to get some new bookmarks though so i might actually have a look at bookmarks later who knows but yeah i've read 109 pages so far today i'll keep you guys updated if i read any more i'll either check in with you later on today or i'll see you guys tomorrow hey you guys it's the next day it's currently 3 35 and i thought i'd come on here and give you a reading update i have not been in the mood to pick up a camera at all as i said yesterday i am during my period my mood is not great and to top it off i'm having problems with my wisdom teeth but got a pretty exciting reading update okay so obviously you guys know i'm reading twisted lights i also started reading icebreaker as well and you know what i'm actually enjoying it but we'll get into that we'll get into that so i woke up this morning and i picked up twisted lights and i'm on page 251 so i've read i don't know like 130 pages of this this morning i've also been listening to the audiobook alongside it and oh my god this book is literally everything i genuinely can't believe i've been putting it off so long stella is literally my girl she's literally a person of color she has anxiety me too me too green is her color like she wears a lot of green i love green honestly i've just found her to be a really relatable character her internal struggles and like self-criticism i have heavily heavily related to and i'm actually really happy about this because like since i started reading I've never found like a female my main character that i've been like attached to and like really love this is actually a slow burn like they've literally only kissed twice but the slow burn has literally been done so so well or has kept it interesting enough for me to not even realize that is a slow burn so i'm really excited to finish this book and see where it goes then i had some errands to run around the house and do and i mean i need to look after myself as well and i really couldn't be bothered to do that so i was just like you know what we're gonna listen to an audiobook whilst we're doing what we need to do i started listening to unfortunately yours on scribed i'm gonna call it scribed even though it's not called scribed anymore and i started listening to it and i was just like you know what i'm really not interested in this i read secretly or didn't love it it was okay and then i was scrolling through my scribes and i was thinking what is on there that i've like got a physical book of so it helps me tick off my physical tbr icebreaker i'm already on page 96 i don't have to get into the book because i already know like the premise of it pretty much i started off on chapter 11 and i'm now on chapter 21 oh my god i love it nate nathan is literally the perfect book boyfriend he is so soft and he's so gentle and he's so kind and he's so caring and like i feel like reading romance books sometimes is a really soft reminder about how you should be treated obviously these men are written by women but i'm in a 
lot of Facebook groups to know that there are men written by women out there in the world. So this keeps my heart open and my hopes high for receiving the, the kind of love that I want. <laughs> But yeah, loving this book so far. I've literally made a makeshift ring light to film this clip. I literally have my book light balancing on the top of the tripod. Somehow I made it work. Anyway, I wanted to do like a quick reading update. I'm still reading Icebreaker. I literally haven't picked up Twisted Lies again today. And I am on page 306 of Icebreaker. And according to Scribe, I have an hour and a half left. I am going to aim to finish this today. I literally cannot tell you the last time that I have basically binge read a whole romance book in one day, as well as read 130 pages of another romance romance book the same day genuinely can tell you i'm lie i've been having a little bit of an anxious day and the reading has definitely helped i genuinely can't believe i talked smack about this book i was like i've softy enoughed it twice like if i would have just given it some time i would have fallen in love with nate i love him he's the epitome of everything i need in a man the universe willing bring him to me i'm ready so the aim is to finish the rest of this book tonight obviously i'll let you guys know tomorrow if i have or haven't how am i supposed to get any reading done when you're just this cute you're grabbing me, you love me, I love you too. Future Kai again, outroing today's video. I am outroing this video when I've already forgotten everything that I've already read in, in this video. Okay, no, I remember, I remember, I remember. So obviously the first book that you guys saw me read was One Perfect Couple by Ruth Ware. I got to page 42 and then ended up softy enoughing it because my mind was all frilled out. I do feel like this is gonna be a really enjoyable book and I don't know what I would give it a rating for obviously at this point in time, but I will be reading it soon. So keep an eye on my social medias if you're interested in knowing what I'm going to rate this book. Then of course you guys saw me read Breaking Point by Grace Riley and I'm going to rate that at four stars. I did really, really enjoy this book. It wasn't my favorite out of the series, but I felt like both of the characters were really enjoyable. Obviously there was a third act breakup in it. Do you know what? I'm coming to realize that I'm not the biggest fan of third act breakups. I feel like third act breakups can be a little bit repetitive sometimes. Well, to be honest, this third act breakup wasn't as bad as it could have been. I feel like there was like a little bit of miscommunication, but the ending was so perfect. I think the character development between Sebastian and Mio, 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 Mia was perfect. Spice was amazing as always. Grace Riley never fails to give you the smart that you want. Sebastian, oh, I love Sebastian. I really do feel like I'm starting to like nice guys in books. Like I feel like sometimes I wanna read like a bad boy, a toxic boy and all that fun and like look at her wrong and I'll kill you. And I mean, sometimes it's nice to have like a realistic man that kind of like falls for you first. It's kind of golden retriever, good energy, good vibes, loves you. I really, really like Sebastian. I really enjoyed this book and I'm very excited to read the fourth book in this series. Then the next book that I read was Twisted Lies. I didn't actually finish this book in this video. Um, I think I got up to like page 250. I have since then finished this book. But obviously where I didn't finish this book in this video, I'm not going to give a review and rating in this video. By the time you guys are seeing this, I will already have my February wrap up and my March TBR up on my channel. So if you're interested in checking that out, then go, go, go check it out. Only if you want to though, no pressure. At that point of the book, I was like really enjoying the plot. I was really enjoying the characters. I mean, Christian, Christian's Christian, that's for sure. But Stella is my girl. I love the anxiety reputation. I felt like some of the things that she was saying was really relatable. The internal dialogue in the book from Stella's perspective was honestly touched home in some places like fear or failure and not doing enough then of course you guys saw me read Icebreaker I did actually finish it whilst filming this video I think or I literally finished it the day after but I literally went to bed with like 40 pages left I think so I'm gonna count it in this video I genuinely whoa voice break I genuinely can't believe it took me as long to finish that book as it did I soft DNF that book twice it was literally so good the one thing that I've taken away from that book is how much I actually really enjoy like a healthy romance with like no third act breakup because I don't think that was a third act breakup in that book. There might have been like a slight miscommunication, but there was no like deep third act breakup where they weren't talking for like months and months and stuff like that. And I really like the fact that Nate was like kind of like golden retriever vibes. It's made me want to read more books with men similar to Nate. I really enjoyed that aspect of the book and I really enjoyed the fact that there was healthy communication. Obviously, you guys probably know the plot of Icebreaker, so I'm not gonna bore you too much with any like details about the book. But I really enjoyed it and the smart the smart was great. Really love that book. I also adored the ending. I know what happened at the ending some people don't really enjoy and that's why many people skip epilogues nowadays but oh my god the epilogue was perfect the book was perfect i could read so much more about their life it's made me really excited to read more books with like similar tropes and like a similar writing style to them obviously i've got wildfire by hannah grace um i don't know when i'm gonna read that but it's made me really excited to read more of hannah grace's work but yeah that is it for today's video guys if you enjoyed please leave a like comment and subscribe all of it helps me out and i'd really appreciate it tremendously i had a lot of fun filming this video i'm definitely gonna do like more mood reading my physical tbr 
TBR because I've literally got like 180 books on my physical TBR. I need to get through it this year and stop buying books. I'm really trying. I'm being good. I'm being good with my book buying. But yeah, I hope to see you guys in the next video. And once again, I hope you enjoyed. Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm really bad with the outros, but I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs>